in the name of Allah, the most magnificent, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you will be fine with good health. Now coming to the title of this uh, video that is imiglamin. Imiglamin is a new novel drug that is used for di di type 2 diabetes only. So coming to this one, glycemic control of type 2 diabetes is a major problem in the world. So control this one, newer drugs have been discovered or has been made for futuristic complication of this disease, type 2 diabetes. So this imiglamin has also been produced in Japan and has been used in June 2021 in Japan. But still FDA has not approved for other countries. Still further studies are going on for the approval, uh, for the approval of this drug. Imiglamin is a novel anti-diabetic drug, oral anti-diabetic drug. So this has different mechanism from all other drugs ha that have been discovered for diabetes. So this has dual mechanism of action. For example, it increases the, uh, it decreases the insulin resistance and increases the glucose induced uh, insulin secretion. So, so two mechanisms are there for these drugs and it also reduces the HbA1c point from 0.5 to 1%. So this is a wonderful novel drug that can be used for different diabetes patients. So uh, further studies are going on in different publications. We will uh, discuss later if uh, that come. Uh, so FDA approval is obtained, imiglamin will be suitable for the patient of renal, kidney or end organ uh, problem patients and it can be combined with uh, exercise, diet, and with the, uh, this drug combination can be given to the patients. So its a mechanism of action is not fully understood but st some mechanism that has been uh, checked that is improve glucose uh, homeostasis including increasing, increasing insulin sensitivity, decreasing gluconeogenesis, increasing beta cell function, increasing mitochondrial function. Major basically if we see the diabetes type 2 or other uh, type 1 and another diabetes that is the burden of the mitochondria. Mitochondria control these diseases. If there is a dysfunction of the mitochondria then diabetes can happen. So multiple burden happen through sedentary lifestyle, through genetic, through stress, different mechanism that energy burden happen in the ATP uh, in the mitochondria. Major function of the mitochondria include generation of ATP production of ATP, generation of ROS and apoptosis. If these functions have been disturbed in the mi mitochondria, then there is happening of some diseases in which one disease is diabetes, uh, diabetes type 2 diabetes. So controlling this one uh, mitochondrial dysfunction, we can control the diabetes. Uh, so this drug has been made to reduce the complication in the mitochondria and improved function of the mitochondrial function has been improved by giving this drug by using this drug so what are the potential benefits of this drug the main advantage of imiglamin is its novel mechanism of action as the first drug of its kind it allows patient with type 2 diabetes the opportunity to try to optimize their therapy by controlling different mechanism or multiple mechanism targeting with one medication to ultimately improve insulin secretion and insulin sensitivity and decrease peripheral insulin resistance. So different combination of this drug is given, can be used for with, with metformin, with DPP-4 inhibitors, with some other drugs. So further we will see uh, and is also effective for the controlling uh, cardiovascular uh, issues so and some complication of the diabetes. So what are the potential adverse effects or disadvantages of this drug? Imiglamin is associated with gastrointestinal adverse reactions such as nausea, abdominal pain and vomiting. The incidence of gastrointestinal tract disorder, gastrointestinal disorders increased as the dose increases and was better tolerated at a dose of 1000 milligram, milligram tablets BD instead of 1500 milligram BD dose. So ongoing and future studies of imiglebin will continue to evaluate and shed light on the 
tolerability and safety of this agent. Furthermore, imiglamin has not been fully studied in patients with hepatic dysfunction and chronic kidney diseases. So this drug has been made by Japan uh, company Poxel and Sumitomo uh, Danipone Pharma. So that is available for different uh, countries, but still some countries have no approval of this drug. But if uh, uh, there is the approval of this drug, then multiple burden of diabetes will be reduced and the improvement in the uh, insulin sensitivity, improvement and restoration of beta cells will happen. So I hope that this drug will improve the activities in the uh, diabetic patients that is futuristic, that is very important and has novel mechanism. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can write in the comment section. I will explain in that. So God bless you all.